All right, I was listening to 97 on the ticket uh, kind of like this afternoon right after the Michigan game uh, was over with. And um, they were talking about the Quadre Diggs trade and also found the article in live kind of backs up some of the things I'm talking about. And I dropped that article in the description. And one of the reasons that they got rid of Quadre Diggs was that um, he was outspoken. And he wasn't outspoken and trying to be, it didn't sound like just be the opposite of Matt Patricia. He basically would give his two cents on or try to give his opinion on what they may do to help, you know, help the defense out. Like, you know what, maybe I'm just, I'm just, you know, giving like made up examples. Oh, maybe we should be robbing a little bit more or maybe I should spend more time covering the slot or maybe I should be playing a deep half of the field or, you know, he was kind of give, you know, Matt Patricia an idea of what's going on out there and pretty much how to tweak, you know, the defense to be more successful. And basically, Matt Patricia, the Rocky scientist, <laughs> he don't like anybody giving their input, so they traded Quadre Diggs. So it wasn't like he was trying to be a rebel. And that's kind of how it came off when he came out and said that, hey, basically, I got traded for giving my opinion. So basically, Matt Patricia doesn't value his player's opinion. But let's talk about that. We back. Marty C Sports Talk in the building. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. If you want more content outside of Detroit uh, sports and Detroit news, check my other channel out for everything sports and music entertainment at Goodfellas Sports TV. So a lot of people listen to this channel. You love that channel. It's pretty much everything outside of what's going on in Detroit. It's Goodfellas Sports TV again. Okay. Um, watching the Pistons game. They still going life and death. This is right before the half with the Charlotte Hornets. But. Basically, what they were saying on the call was that, you know, Quadre Diggs had been doing good in Seattle, and why was he, you know, got traded and why it didn't work in in Detroit. And the MLive uh, article, I'll link in the description, kind of going to back some of that up. And at the end of the day, you always should listen to your employees. You're always supposed to listen to your soldiers. You know what I'm saying? They the one in the battlefield. You know, I remember watching the Super Bowl with uh, the Steelers and the Green Bay Packers. And one of the things that stood out to me in that Super Bowl was that Greg Jennings was saying, basically, they was running a play where Greg, I think, would be in the slot, and they was running a streak. And on Madden, they called it a Packer smash, right? <laughs> I think most people understand what I'm saying when I say that. But he wanted to go to a flag route, a corner route, but it's a flag route. Uh, you want to run towards the flag. And... The offensive coordinator, Aaron Rodgers, listened to him. He said, well, Troy Palomalu can't get to the flag. If I run the flag route, he can't get there. And I think they run that corner flag route, and he didn't get there, and they scored, and they listened to Greg Jennings, the player. So how can Matt Patricia expect to be a great coach or be a successful coach in Detroit when he doesn't listen to his players? He thinks he know it all. It's different out there from when it look on tape. So, you know, at the end of the day, you can't have an opinion as a Detroit Lion. You're supposed to go out there and do exactly what Patricia say. That's not a recipe for success. And a lot of people that's actually smart, they think they know it all, and they think and, and they come off as arrogant. And Matt Patricia is very arrogant. No matter how bad it's going or whatever situation may be, you know, you'd rather trade away talent, which Pete Carroll is raving about Quadre Diggs and comparing his effort to Earl Thomas. And I'll get to her in a minute. But Matt Patricia rather, you know, trade you, you know, when you're trying to have a football conversation, you're trying to suggest some things from a player standpoint and put somebody in there that's less talented and, you know, ride out with them because he listened and he fit the program. You know, after hearing this, it's even more for this dude to, to, to be gone by now. He should be gone. It makes no it makes no sense for you and your players not to have an opinion now. They going to say, well, Quadre Diggs had a tough offseason. He had a tough season. And, yeah, at the end of the day, it happens. Okay? It happens. Injuries and, you know, need to get on track. It's called trusting the process and believing in your player. He had a hamstring issue, injury. They said he didn't get no interceptions. And he did record 20 tackles. But he had six tackles for loss and all of this and all of that. But it's up to you as a coach. And this is this is what this is a key thing to make coaches great. Okay, I talked about this in the Michigan and Gonzaga reaction video I did. Being able to adjust to your personnel. See, the Patriots defense had a plug and play scheme for so time some some time. They know exactly what type of player they want to play a position. They know their strengths, they know the weaknesses, they plug and play them 
Okay, it works. But at the end of the day, for you to actually, you know, build that system offensively or defensively, Patricia, and we're talking defensively, it takes a roster turnover. It takes to be successful in drafts. It takes the people to be healthy. It takes for you to have a few guys from that system to help people make comfortable in that and make them comfortable in this system. And it takes a lot to do that. But if you felt if Quadre Diggs wasn't that guy, why did you give him an extension? You know, it, it makes no sense. And then he leaves over he leaves and goes to Seattle and he's a huge success. You know, he he sat out a couple weeks to get used to the system. He got picks, he got fumbles, he playing with intensity. You know, at the end of the day, maybe he need to get a little bit healthy. Maybe he need to warm up. You know what I'm saying? And maybe Quadre Diggs was trying to tell him, like, hey man, I, I work a little bit better doing this. Or I'm a little bit more successful doing this. It's multiple ways to success. One way is just not a way to success to be successful. And when you got a know-it-all type of coach in Matt Patricia, he doesn't value his players' opinion, especially if they don't come from the Patriot way. You know, you know, it seems not going to be successful trading away talent, especially when you, when you know, especially when you're not having the most successful drafts year in and year out. But. It's, it's unfortunate that it goes that way. It's unfortunate they may get Quadre Diggs away for nothing for a fifth-round draft pick, and now he may be another Detroit Lion on his way to the Super Bowl. Cliff Everett won one there. At least he's going to the playoffs this year, and he made a key interception versus the 49ers. So, it, it, you know, like I said before, Matt Patricia is getting worse and worse, and he's, this is why last season those players was complaining about playing up practicing outside, they were complaining in training camp, how they was working too hard. And when, you know, you don't even have a honeymoon phase, you know, and when, when guys trying to come to you and say, this is what we should be doing, or I think we should be, you know, ah, coach, what you think about this? And you saying, basically, you know, get out of my face. You know, I'm the coach, I'm the boss, and, you know, this and that. And you're not trying to collect data from your players, man. No wonder why these dudes don't want to play hard for him. No wonder why they revolted against him. And then it becomes my way to highway. Okay, Quadre can lead. Oh, Darius Slay, you're not happy. We're going to trade you in the offseason. Are oh, we going to bring a guy like Trey Flowers in? You know what I'm saying? We're going to be a guy, we're a guy in like Justin Coleman in, which I'm going to talk about him too. After this video too, I might double up in halftime for the Pistons. You know, are oh, we going to bring a guy like Justin Coleman in? We're going to bring our guys in. You know what? As soon as you, as soon as you have an opinion about what we should be doing defense, if you just don't shut up and do your job, you're going to be out of here. You know what I'm saying? And this ain't New England where they got a, proof, a, 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 foolproof, a foolproof system that's going to work. And at the end of the day, all your sacrifices of, of, of showing personality, all your sacrifices of having fun, all your sacrifices of, of whatever you give in the offseason and practicing hard and giving your body is going to result in a championship ring or a playoff run at the bare minimum or bare minimum a Super Bowl appearance. And you come in here and you win in one, two, three games. Makes no sense. So now you can't even have an opinion. You don't even listen to the play. I remember Bill Belichick this season in this, right? Micah Hyde made an interception on uh, Tom Brady in the end zone. They end up beating the uh, Bills when they first played him this season. Josh Allen got knocked out the game. So Bill Belichick ran down Micah High and said, oh, man, well, how did you know Brady was going to go to Julian Edelman and how did you get the pick? And, and you know, High told him, well, he was staring him down. So Bill Belichick is collecting data from other players. So you don't think he talked to Devin McCourty? Or you don't think he talked to uh, Gerard Mayo when he a player he's not a coach or, or Dante Hightower and, 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 and say, hey, man, what you think, what you seeing out there? What you think? You know, Matt Patricia is just coming off like an arrogant Smart ass or smart alley, alley cat, whatever you call him. That's what he coming off as, man. And like I said before, man, they need they need a replacement now. You know what I'm saying? As soon as these four games are over with, they need to replace the coach and the general manager. And I mean that. The more and more stuff that come off about this dude, he ain't it. He is a, a rocket science that think he know it all, and he don't. 
But hey, it's more to see sports talk. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business questions, inquiry, response, share video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation? Just share the videos. It's the best way to help. Uh, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email once again. One time for the one time. More to see sports talk.